think Congress wants to ban? This fully automatic MAC-10? How about this fully automatic Uzi? Or this Kalashnikov-style semi-automatic rifle? Well, it's the semi-automatic rifle they're targeting. The two fully automatics are legal, but only with intense background checks. How about these two semi-automatic rifles? This particular rifle will be banned under the current legislation. This is Steyr AUG semi-automatic rifle. This rifle is a semi-automatic rifle and is not considered a ban. Both these rifles function the same way. Why do you think one will be banned over the other? Well, I think that some people associate some of the uh, terrorism with criminals with this type of firearm. It, it has an evil look to it. And how about these shotguns? This shotgun is listed specifically. This is a banned gun because it's, uh, by name, it's mentioned in the bill. This gun is not really mentioned by name, but it has a feeding device, which is more than seven. Uh, this shotgun is a semi-automatic shotgun and is not listed, this would be a legally owned shotgun. The ban would also affect gun magazines. The one closest to you would be illegal because it has one more round than the proposed legal limit of seven. How do Virginia's legislators stand? Congressman Rick Boucher says he opposes all gun controls. Locally, Roanoke City Police Chief David Hooper says of the list of guns to be banned, quote, they have no reasonable or practical use for the average law-abiding citizen in their daily pursuit. However, he would agree for a restricted use by people such as competitive shooters. County Police Chief John C. says, quote, we have to control weapons that are designed to kill people. However, he's opposed to banning semi-automatics, but he does want a ban of fully automatic weapons that are easily concealed and that are made in the USA, not just the ones that are made overseas. State police in Salem didn't want to make an official comment, but the sergeant I spoke to on the phone had this to say, and this is a quote, to say that gun control would have stopped what happened yesterday in Killeen, Texas, is wishful thinking. He went on to say that more people were killed by vehicles yesterday than by guns. Teresa Dickey, Channel 10 News, Roanoke.